So today what we're going to do is we are going to apply our calculation known as numerical integration to determine the area of an irregular shape. And in this case, this irregular shape is a bird wing. So here we have a bird wing, uh, the wing of, and I believe this is an Acadian flycatcher, if I remember correctly. So this is a wing that's been taken, and not only have we taken a picture of the wing, but we've taken a picture of the wing, and we've interposed the picture of the wing on a grid um, to make it easier to do the math here. And I've already done the first step here, and then I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and divide this wing into vertical divisions. I've taken each of the wing pieces, and I've sliced it up into vertical slices along each part. You'll even notice that I've made some vertical slices over here on the right-hand side where I've sort of either sort of ended at a tip or sliced through the places on the wing uh, and made a series of little segments over there. And I have to make an executive decision here about how I want to handle my slices at the end. And I'm going to decide that there is actually going to be a place over here where we are going to say, okay, wherever there is a spot there, we are going to assume that there is a place here out at my very end and that we're going to approximate the wingtips of the bird as extending out to that spot there, that my ending point is actually not going to be this line, this set of lines here, but is instead going to be a zero point or a set of zero points out here. And that's going to be part of my approximation. All right, so now that I've done that, I've also needed to determine what my units are going to be. I've decided that my unit in this particular case is going to be one of these little grids between the red and the blue. There's one unit for my unit purposes. Now, you will notice that I have a scale down below, a centimeter scale down below. And I could sort of start right now approximating with that centimeter scale. But I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and use my grid units for my calculations. And then I will do a conversion later to determine what the actual area is in terms of uh, real units, in this case, centimeters. All right, so to do this process, we're going to need a series of measurements. The first measurements that we're going to need is the measurement across each of these units. Okay, along that span of the wing. So that little piece there, we're going to recognize that that is two units. And that, I think we call that a piece of our span, little delta S. Sometimes it's used W as a width or whatever. So each of those pieces, we're going to say is two units. And then, what we're going to need for each of those things is then we're going to need to go ahead and measure each of the lengths along these vertical divisions. So I'm going to count each vertical division here, and I'm going to look and say, okay, let's see here, one, two, three, and a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and make, for each of these vertical divisions, I'm going to go ahead and make some measurements and write down, record, in this case I see this as being 3.3 .3 units as that very first one. And I'm going to go through each of these lines and record what I've already, I've already looked at these carefully and measured them. So I'm going to go ahead and record these now along the screen. Um, and you can look at them carefully yourself. But let me go ahead and record the different unit measurements for each of these. 11.7, 11.8, 11.9, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19, 11.20, 11.21, 11.22, 11.23, 11.24, 11.25, 11.26, 11.27, 11.28, 11.29, 11.30, 11.31, 11.32, 11.33, 11.34, 11.35, 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, 11.47, 11.48, 11.49, 11.50, 11.51, 11.52, 11.53, 11.54, 11.55, 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, 11.60, 11.61, 11.62, 11.63, 11.64, 11.65, 11.66, 11.67, 11.68, 11.69, 11.70, 11.71, 11.72, 11.73, 11.74, 11.75, 11.76, 11.77, 11.78, 11.79, 11.80, 11.81, 11.82, 11.83, 11.84, 11.85, 11.86, 11.87, 11.88, 11.89, 11.90, 11.91, 11.92, 11.93, 11.94, 11.95, 11.96, 11.97, 11.98, 11.99, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19, 11.20, 11.21, 11.22, 11.23, 11.24, 11.25, 11.26, 11.27, 11.28, 11.29, 11.30, 11.31, 11.32, 11.33, 11.34, 11.35, 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, 11.47, 11.48, 11.49, 11.50, 11.51, 11.52, 11.53, 11.54, 11.55, 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, 11.60, 11.61, 11.62, 11.63, 11.64, 11.65, 11.66, 11.67, 11.68, 11.69, 11.70, 11.71, 11.72, 11.73, 11.74, 11.75, 11.76, 11.77, 11.78, 11.79, 11.80, 11.81, 11.82, 11.83, 11.84, 11.85, 11.86, 11.87, 11.88, 11.89, 11.90, 11.91, 11.92, 11.93, 11.94, 11.95, 11.96, 11.97, 11.98, 11.99, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19, 11.20, 11.21, 11.22, 11.23, 11.24, 11.25, 11.26, 11.27, 11.28, 11.29, 11.30, 11.31, 11.32, 11.33, 11.34, 11.35, 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, 11.47, 11.48, 11.49, 11.50, 11.51, 11.52, 11.53, 11.54, 11.55, 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, 11.60, 11.61, 11.62, 11.63, 11.64, 11.65, 11.66, 11.67, 11.68, 11.69, 11.70, 11.71, 11.72, 11.73, 11.74, 11.75, 11.76, 11.78, 11.79, 11.80, 11.81, 11.82, 11.83, 11.84, 11.85, 11.86, 11.87, 11.88, 11.89, 11.90, 11.91, 11.92, 11.93, 11.94, 11.95, 11.96, 11.97, 11.98, 11.99, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19, 11.20, 11.21, 11.22, 11.23, 11.24, 11.25, 11.26, 11.27, 11.28, 11.29, 11.30, 11.31, 11.32, 11.33, 11.34, 11.35, 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, 11.47, 11.48, 11.49, 11.50, 11.51, 11.52, 11.53, 11.54, 11.55, 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, 11.60, 11.61, 11.62, 11.63, 11.64, 11.65, 11.66, 11.67, 11.68, 11.69, 11.70, 11.71, 11.72, 11.73, 11.74, 11.75, 11.76, 11.77, 11.78, 11.79, 11.80, 11.81, 11.82, 11.83, 11.84, 11.85, 11.86, 11.87, 11.88, 11.89, 11.90, 11.91, 11.92, 11.93, 11.94, 11.95, 11.96, 11.97, 11.98, 11.99, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19, 11.20, 11.21, 11.22, 11.23, 11.24, 11.25, 11.26, 11.27, 11.28, 11.29, 11.30, 11.31, 11.32, 11.33, 11.34, 11.35, 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, 11.47, 11.48, 11.49, 11.50, 11.51, 11.52, 11.53, 11.54, 11.55, 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, 11.60, 11.61, 11.62, 11.63, 11.64, 11.65, 11.66, 11.67, 11.68, 11.69, 11.70, 11.71, 11.72, 11.73, 11.74, 11.75, 11.76, 11.77, 11.78, 11.79, 11.80, 11.81, 11.82, 11.83, 11.84, 11.85, 11.86, 11.87, 11.88, 11.89, 11.90, 11.91, 11.92, 11.93, 11.94, 11.95, 11.96, 11.97, 11.98, 11.99, 11.10, 11.11, 11.12, 11.13, 11.14, 11.15, 11.16, 11.17, 11.18, 11.19, 11.20, 11.21, 11.22, 11.23, 11.24, 11.25, 11.26, 11.27, 11.28, 11.29, 11.30, 11.31, 11.32, 11.33, 11.34, 11.35, 11.36, 11.37, 11.38, 11.39, 11.40, 11.41, 11.42, 11.43, 11.44, 11.45, 11.46, 11.47, 11.48, 11.49, 11.50, 11.51, 11.52, 11.53, 11.54, 11.55, 11.56, 11.57, 11.58, 11.59, 11.60, 11.61, 11.62, 11.63
I have to go and recall what the trapezoidal rule looks like. And if I remember, the trapezoidal rule looks something like this. A, my area, is equal to one half times that thickness, which we call delta S. So there's that delta S thickness, plus one times my first chord, so that would be C naught, plus two times my second chord, plus two times my third chord, plus two, et cetera, et cetera, plus two times my next to last chord, which is how many? One, two, three, four, five, I'm oh, sorry, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So two times C ten plus C eleven. Now you'll notice that that last one, that 11th one, is actually zero. So did I even have to write that? No, I didn't, but the reason to include it is you'll notice the two that gets counted here. That C10, instead of being just counted once, is being counted twice because we're counting the zero as one of our measurements. So now I notice there's a pattern there, which is one, two, 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 two. So I'm going to say, okay, let's go to each of these ones that's in the middle. And we're going to take each of those values and double it. All of these middle values need to be multiplied by 2, including that 4.3 that's there at the end. We're going to multiply all those middle values uh, and record them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then the units on the end, I'm going to keep the same. So now that I've done that, I'm following my pattern, I can put all those things in together, and I'm going to take them all and add them all up. So my area is going to be 1 half times my delta S of 2 units two units, which very handily is going to just cancel out the twos in that case, times the sum of all those multiplied, or what we the term is weighted. They've all been weighted. They've even been counted once or they've been counted twice. And that term is called weighted. Once I've weighted all of those, I'm going to add them all up. I believe, if my math is right here, that they add up to 188.4 linear units. Okay, And once I've actually done that, my 188.4 units, well, you'll notice this is pretty straightforward. The twos cancel out, and I get an overall area of 188.4 square units. Hopefully, you can see the math there. Not too difficult. Okay, So, I'm not quite done yet, though. One thing I have to recognize here, that these are grid boxes, and those grids were kind of arbitrarily placed depending on the graph paper that I happen to have around and how I laid that wing picture onto it. So now I need to go ahead and figure out what this is in real units based on the scale that was provided by my wing. So there I'm going to look carefully and I'm going to recognize and I'm going to look at this whole scale and I realize that this piece here is one, two, three, four, five centimeters. And that five linear centimeters are the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, are the equivalent of ten of my units. Okay, well now I can make a conversion. Let me go ahead and rewrite that as one centimeter is equal to two of my units. Well, my area has been calculated in units. So now I'm going to convert that area from units into centimeters. So I'll draw a little line here and use a ratio. I recognize that two units corresponds to one centimeter. But here's where many students will make a common mistake. They will divide by two and then they will say they're done. However, this measurement over here is a linear measurement. It's a conversion to convert lines to lines. Notice I'm a two-dimensional area measurement. If I take this same centimeters and I make it a five by five square, 
I can't quite fit the five by five square. I guess I can fit the five by five square in there. If I took that same measurement, the relationship between linear and squared is not the same. Because we have two dimensions, we have to do this conversion a second time. Okay, in other words, <clears throat> well, basically we're doing the conversion a second time, so we're going to end up with units will cancel out. We'll end up with an answer in centimeters squared, but now it's 188.4 divided by 4. And that 188.4 divided by 4, let's see here, 188.4 divided by 4 equals 47.1 square centimeters. And that's the area of our Arcadian flycatcher, Birdwing.